so hello everyone welcome to this video and we'll be actually uh, going through my research paper and what i thought about how did i publish each and every section so basically i just wanted to let you know how a uh, research paper looks like and this is basically the title here which is a uh, feed forward artificial neural networks and it is a weight initialization method and it is a new method basically and uh, this is where the author's name comes in uh, this is my first professor which helped me and the name of the second professor which helped me in uh, like publishing the research paper so yeah uh, this was the uh, research paper which i published and uh, let me show you like how it looks like so uh, this is basically how it looks like when you publish a research paper when you download it and uh, it seems long but it's not that long so let's go step by step and i'll tell you how and uh, like how did i thought about each and every section and how did i implement it so uh, without like further ado let's start with the abstract <clears throat> so first basically the first part of my research paper here is the abstract here as you can see so abstract is basically you have to give them that hey for example like first of all you have to like think about a problem here what is the problem you are solving the problem which I'm solving here is I'm developing a new method which will initialize weights for the artificial neural networks. This is a problem like the problem was initializing weights. I developed a new method which initializes weights better than the old and previous existing methods. So this was a problem which I identified. So first of all, uh, what you have to do is you have to identify a problem. After you identify the problem, you have to publish a research paper according to that. So as you can see here in the abstract here, in this paper a new uh, okay just a second yeah so in this paper a new weight in initialization scheme is proposed the proposed scheme uh, distributes bias and this all stuff so i basically i have given a basic overview of what i'm doing here and on a set of 10 tasks this is basically you'll be giving how many tasks you're going to perform here on your uh, any for example uh, mine is a machine learning model so i perform 10 t uh, 10 tasks here so basically i put 10 here and basically abstract will give the overview of the research paper what is basically happening here so basically i'm uh, like who do not know the technical terms basically i'm telling here that uh, we proposed a weight initialization method here and which is almost always better than the three existing routines so basically whenever you publish a research paper your research paper has to be better than the previous existing methods otherwise it won't be published as simple as that for example if you are doing something and it is already being done before then your research paper will not be like getting accepted so basically this is how you think of an abstract here abstract basically will always come in bold here and uh, this is according to icrito as you can see here the publication name is icrito and they basically give you a format in which you have to write it down the abstract will always be bold here and it will always be uh, like coming at the front here so this is basically what an abstract is and uh, now let us talk about the introduction now as you can see in the introduction here in the introduction basically i have told that hey i am giving it for an artificial neural networks and uh, like uh, for example just let me show you these are basically artificial neural networks here and they basically uh, give some weight to the other artificial neural networks and this is basically a hidden layer here and this hidden layer like passes it to the output here this is the output so basically this weight initialization this weight was done before but i developed a new method i developed a new method which initializes weights which was better than the previous methods so in the introduction this is what basically i have told here, that um, basically uh, the nodes of the hidden layer should be non-linear function as well as like these are, are some technical terms which you have to see here and uh, uh, under this condition uh, the uh, artificial neural networks have been established using dif different techniques assumptions you basically have to give an introduction here and whenever you give an introduction here always attach a figure here because i've attached a figure here and after attaching the figure i basically have given uh, for example uh, there are some activation functions in the figure here which uh, denote by this alpha 1 and alpha 2 and i also have given here the uh, formulas for alpha 1 and alpha 2 here and i also have derived them so this is basically have to introduce you that hey this is the uh, research i'm working on this is basically the mathematics and statistics behind that and you have to work on that and as you can see here I have also written that as proposed in two, this training algorithm has been shown to have better performance and training behavior among the first order, order methods and also even second order method like this method. So basically when I was publishing a research paper, I researched some methods of weight in initialization and like this was a huge method in that and when I tested my uh, uh, like 
research paper uh, model and th my uh, model basically performed very much better than this previously e existing model so you have to like research uh, like the previous uh, models or the, or the research uh, papers which have been published what have they done and you have to research them and make a better model uh, like better than them so this is basically the introduction part and again this is basically an activation function uh, another figure which i have given here and all like always name the figure here like figure one and basically just a random uh, like uh, introduction of the figure here and not much to do here and this was basically the very easy part till here this basically comes a very hard part so now let us talk about this now as you can see here the weight initialization routines here these were the basically uh, like the previous and uh, like initialization weight routines one two and three i researched these from uh, research papers as well as google and like all other stuff these three were the weight in initialization routines which are previously given and now now i also proposed my thing this is basically my proposal here first of all you have to tell that hey which all are the available here then i gave this proposal this is basically you should initialize a weight and now how did i test this so the testing is basically done on like various things so that so let me uh, write it down here so i basically did my testing on like i used here uh, matlab you can use matlab uh, you can use python here or um, you can also use like a sql here to test it out but basically uh, this is not considered good i usually use matlab to uh, run my test here and also check the uh, uh, like precision and accuracy so basically first of all what i did here is i uh, just a second i gave it i gave the three uh, weight initialization routines and then i proposed my method here which is a proposed initialization routine of mine and then when i was giving this i like these all calculations which are seeing here these all things let me do this so these all things which are seeing here these are basically done using matlab like uh, those who know machine learning will know that uh, like how do we initialize weight what is the basic formula what is the basic method and i basically tweaked the meta method i researched and uh, like i gave various types of inputs and uh, i uh, like this is basically my proposal so if, in this proposal if you uh, like give any value of x as well as theta you will get a very good weight initialized for that so this is basically my proposal and this is basically uh, everything which i have done and uh, this was at the end i gave a table here this table will basically i uh, as we saw in the beginning as i told you that 10 task 10 task will be given so here as you can see 10 tasks are given here so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 so on these 10 tasks basically i have given some input i have give, i have given some output these are some hidden layers and this is basically the outputs here and as you can see the training set as well as the test set so these are basically given by me uh, like given by me uh, you can give it as like basically a research paper is basically a research you have to hit and trial you have to do research you have to like put in values you have to check if these are working or not if these are not working basically you have to go upwards here and you have to change this equation and then again check that hey if i give these values these some values are these working again if it if they're not working again go again to the top change the values so basically this is how you have to uh, use matlab and run these tests and this is basically how i did it and after like doing it i reached to a value of lambda here this was uh, this was basically uh the like hard work of my one year when i reached this value of lambda here and this basically lambda helps us in initializing weights here. so this uh, like trust me guys it takes a lot of time and uh, like i did it in like one year so yeah so uh, like get prepared for that and this was basically the working now let us talk about this part the learning task and the data sets now you can also give this uh, le learning tasks and data sets if you want to like um, as you can see here I have given a lot of data here and you can give like these type of data sets if you don't want to you can also do it like if you don't want to do till 10 you can do till 5 here and you can remove these all you can do only 5 here so this is basically uh, up to you how your model performs how your training accuracy is how your testing accuracy is so this is bas basically a general uh, like two dimensional input has been used again two dimensional input has been used so this is not that important and now 
let us come to the main part which is experiment methodology so how did i experiment that so like for each solution of the each learning task as you can see here we use a single hidden layer new, uh, like network and this is like you won't get it uh, like much because it's very technical here i'll uh, like this is basically experiment methodology we will be explaining like uh, what basically you are doing here for example like for each learning task as i said here 50 weights have been created and total network trained is you basically have to tell them that uh, what exactly are you doing basically you have to tell them here like uh, how many uh, like networks you are giving how many machine learning uh, hidden layers you are giving how many uh, nodes you are giving here so basically you have to tell them exactly what you are doing in the experiment methodology so this was a very important part of experiment methodology and uh, the last part which comes in is the result and discussion and now let us talk about this so in the result and discussion basically what i did was i basically uh, as you can see here let me zoom it out so these are basically 10 uh, 10 tasks which i took these were 10 tasks now this was a new weight initialization method of mine and these were the previous three which we saw in the uh like uh when i okay let me show you here so these three were um yeah these three were this this and this now let me go down okay so as you can see 10 tasks i've taken and these 10 tasks are what basically these 10 tasks are nothing just a random uh hidden trial of input layers output layers hidden layers uh training set as well as testing set okay now what i did was i basically ran a lot of things here so basically as you can see here this is a uh okay let me check here yeah okay so this is basically a standard standard deviation here and this is uh, mean squared error and this is mean of mean squared error and median mean squared error so as you can see here my model which is uh, as you can see here like uh, let us check the standard deviation so it is 0 0.011 it is 0 0.018 it is 0 0.018 here okay 0 0.018811 now let us talk about here mean mean squared error as you can see 4.91 5.31 4.30 3.20 now let us talk about the uh, task 3 here 5.1 2.5 4.8 2.51 805 as you can see here so basically as i told in the above it uh, performs better or equal to the previous existing methods so this is basically uh, you have to put all your results in a basically a table form and you have to you know, like put this figure in the results and discussion section and now this one is like if you want to put it then put it uh, otherwise it's not necessary i just basically compared uh, like results from all tasks over the test data then i did it using the t test like these were like uh done by me additionally you don't have to do that uh you can because it made my research paper more acceptable because i did a lot of research and hard work here and basically i compared each and every uh mean squared error as well as like this is also another rank sum algorithm which i uh checked and used here so this is basically uh like uh very optional here you don't have to do that you can also leave it uh on like one table only and basically icr ito uh will tell you in the uh like basically they will give you a format and they will tell you how many uh tables they require and they basically gave us one to two tables so that's why uh we like put it here and this is basically uh these all tables here as you can see one two three and four these are basically uh more uh like explained version of these uh, this table into like four tables here so this is like totally optional here you don't have to do that if you want to do you can do it so this is how you do it and basically at the end you have to do a conclusion that in this paper a new weighted initialization scheme is proposed here and on a set of 10 tasks um as you can see um the proposed weight initialization was compared to three existing and we may infer that the is almost always better than these three existing routines and is never worse on the basis of generalization plat of performance as you can see here in the uh, like as you can see in let uh, let us talk about the, this one so this is mean 1.5 0.96 2.72 1.09 so it is not worse than them okay as you can see here and uh, now let us talk about the references so for the references part 
basically for the references part you can uh, like put in as many references as you can uh, basically as you can see here let me uh, like talk to you about how to use references as you can see uh, let me show you like um not here yeah as you can see uh, organic chemicals towards magna in 21 so basically what they will do is they will go to 21 here and where is my 21 21 in this one and they will check if this is actually present in the 21 or not so basically whatever you you use in your research paper you have to get it from a website or like a source right and you have to write the source here no matter how many sources are there you have to write them for example let me show you uh, another example here the task um, uh, and, and is a part of technical report in number 19 they will check the number 19 here the number 19 is this book and this was a test data available in the number 19 so they will check it if it is available they will give it a go so this is basically how references work any material any line or any other research you put in your research paper has to be backed by references otherwise if like uh, my paper got uh, like uh, the third paper which i uh, like uh, published they had a lot of issues because like i did not put the references right into them so basically even if you miss like one reference your paper uh, your paper will be rejected here so always take care of this okay and uh, you have to put the references here and then reference them in into your uh like basically 23 has been referenced here so they'll check the 23 and the information has been given here okay and this is basically how you publish a research paper and uh, yeah so uh, thank you so much for watching this video and uh, if you have any questions feel free to comment down below and i will be very happy to help you and uh, yeah uh, one last thing before i go uh, so thank you so much for watching this video guys and uh, before i go i just wanted to talk about one thing you have readied your research paper okay everything is done right now so now which conference should you choose for the research papers and basically i chose the icr ito you can also uh, basically this is a part of icr ito and you can choose ieee you can choose icr ito you can choose um, ieee cis uh, there are a lot of conferences you can choose them and i'll be making a separate video on that so don't worry about this conference like uh, conferences or pub like conferences will accept your publication so make your publication very much better and uh, yeah uh, all the best and if you have any questions feel free to comment down below and i will be very happy to help you so thank you so much for watching this video and uh, have a good day